the firewood situation here didn't go exactly as planned. Got the house in July, first time owning a house, and I grew up in New England, so there was no question that wood would be needed, and a lot of it for the winter, but it got tough to secure, and what was bought has already been gone through, so luckily the electric company felled some dead ash trees at the very end of the road. I've been trying to tackle a couple rounds a day so it's not so intimidating. It's a lot of work, even though it does split nicely. Really gives you an appreciation for the warmth in your house. There is this beautiful stream through the forest on the land here, and uh, I think I'm going to split up one more round and then go walk to it. Yesterday when I came here, this looked entirely different. The stream was much more narrow and had a layer of ice on top of it. There was much more snow. I sat by it and listened to it trickle and now it has much more of a rush to it. It's swollen, it reminds me of early spring. I can't believe the difference in one day. I haven't experienced spring here yet, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how big this actually gets. There is just nothing like the sound of water and the birds chirping. Mm. Probably about three weeks ago at the off-grid cabin, I made this oxymel. Oxymel, it comes from a Greek word, oxymeli, I believe is how you pronounce it, and it just means acid and honey. For the acid in this, I used organic apple cider vinegar, and the honey was uh, local raw honey. So it's an herbal elixir. It extracts what's in it. I put different citruses, ginger, cinnamon, um, some garden rosemary cayenne pepper and stash it away in a dark cool spot and it's ready to strain. This will help boost immunity, uh, soothe dry sore throats and coughs, and supports digestion too.
That smells really good. I think I'll put most of it in here for me to keep and then I have these two small containers so I can give it to any friends if they start feeling under the weather or just as a gift. Um, this should be really tasty. Going to put these in the fridge, you'd take one to three tablespoons a day as need be, or you can mix it in with a drink. Something I really love doing is making herbal mocktails, so drinks that sort of resemble cocktails but there's no alcohol in them, um, and you can make them really beneficial for you by adding things like tart cherry juice, um, citrus, different herbal blends. They're really fun, honestly, and I think this would be a good addition to it, so I might try that. Day flew by. It's almost sundown. Just finished watering the plants. Takes quite a long time to do that here. And uh, I noticed some of the leaves were getting a little bit dusty and I want to clean them. I just don't have all of the supplies I need so I'm not sure when I'm going to make it to the grocery store next. And the driveway is really bad right now. But I would probably throw together some vinegar, water, and um, a natural soap. Looking into it, it's actually really important to keep your leaves clean because it helps them photosynthesize better and in turn will purify your air, which is such an incredible benefit of having plants in the house. <laughs> Woke up this morning to a bunch of rain hitting the roof. I think it's supposed to be like that most of the day, so good opportunity to come into the office and get some work done. After the holidays, I have a lot to restock, so I'm going to go around and take inventory. I actually have some really special announcements to share in the coming months about my small business. Just working on solidifying some more things. It's about 5.30 right now, and and I've been sleeping, I sleep above the wood stove and I do have a cast iron kettle on top of the wood stove that I fill with water but I think I need a real humidifier. I, keep, I wake up and my throat aches, it's so crisp.
One of the items I'm finishing up restocking is my Luminous Salve. It's for your face, your eyes, your neck, and it's a really rich and reparative blend and doesn't leave it greasy. Good for making the skin soft and glowy, um, easing wrinkles, helping with irritated skin, eczema, packed with nutrients, antioxidants, vitamins, really quenches dry skin. This blend has cranberry seed, rose hip, vitamin E, pomegranate, avocado, castor, mango butter, shea butter, lanolin, lavender, lemon, and sage. I love this stuff. I use it every day. I'm hoping one day I won't have to cut every single circle anymore because it's kind of hard. <laughs> I just don't know what label printer I would get and getting it outsourced can be expensive. The rain looks like it stopped though, so that's good. And I actually saw that there might be snow in a couple days again. That would be great. water actually too so I need to get that out. Oh, this nut was frozen on the other sled so I just got it off and I'm transferring it onto this snowmobile because it's starting up a lot better. The other one I tried the other day and I couldn't get it. Uh, they're, they're pretty old, so I'm going to take this one down to the wood that I was splitting and put it all in the back, start bringing it up here. Oh, the snow is coming down today. <laughs> oh, so nice. So Kyle's back from his trip to Maine now. So today he's plowing out the driveway. I learned in the fall a little bit how to operate the tractor, but not quite at his level yet. So I'm almost done getting the wood stocked up. I filled the inside racks too, so they can begin drying out nicely. Whew, firewood is a lot of work, but it's fun work and rewarding. Oh. What a beautiful winter day, like a real, genuine winter day. Mm -hmm. 